Oh, brushing my teeth and having so much fun. I never let the water run. Oh, I never let the water run. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. We are headed into town for some breakfast. Some yummy, yummy breakfast. We're out of eggs, so we had to go somewhere. We're gonna take a walk around town, and Kristen's awkwardly staying in the back. So, let's, let's go. What is this? What is this? Is this a Susan B. Anthony? Oh, I've been holding it out on you. Why? No, it's not. It's got Curious George on it. Oh, that's very strange. <laughs> I mean, George Washington. <laughs> Curious George? Uh, you know, that's what they called him, right? That's his so nickname, Curious George. So. He's always so curious, uh huh? Is that what this he was, is? He was curious about the new world. Oh, and he's, is that a monkey character loosely based off his life? I'm pretty, was I'm there pretty a name sure. With the yellow hats? I'm pretty sure I know. It. <laughs> George Washington started out by being so curious, and that's how he became president. I mean, but where does the man <laughs> with the yellow hat come in? Um, that was uh, his uncle, oh. uh, James Washington. Oh. Get out of our wee truck filled with junk. What are you doing Not on the road? Truck nice. filled with junk. Cycling You're a cycling truck. Currently in Bluffton, Ohio. This is where our college was. This is actually where Kristen and I met. So we're just walking about town today because it's so nice. And um, there's a lot of little cool stores and shops to go see. So we're gonna do that. And then we are going to um, go to the campus and show you around our uh, old campus. This store has all types. Everything in the store is made by somebody that is an artisan from somewhere else in the world and they it's like fair trade so somebody in India made the earrings or somebody in Africa made something and it the profit mostly goes to them so it's a really neat store if you're looking to support it's called 10,000 villages Got some uh, chocolate covered espresso beans and some organic um, Ethiopian coffee. And it's all fair trade. All fair nice. trade. Did you ever stay in this dorm, Rob? Um, no. No? You were never a Rob girl? I was never a Rob girl. I had friends that were I there. I stayed in this one, Brendel, my sophomore year. Library where I spent way too much time reading and studying and <laughs> I don't know I don't know how much yeah I came here to go to the bathroom sometimes because I had a clean bathroom I did do some studying my senior year um, but mostly I just figured out how to how to um, kind of get through each class what I needed to do what I didn't need to do I didn't really learn much all right let's go. <laughs> Ah, the gum tree. This is where you put your gum. <laughs> it's, it's a legend. There's gum everywhere, all up and down it. Do you ever put any gum on there? What? You never put gum on the gum tree? This is a music hall where Kristen spent almost all of her time. I did. And. I did. And, um, so this is mostly where, like, all the music majors' classes were 
And also, this is where we have choir and band. This campus, this campus is infamous for squirrels. There are three types of squirrels found on campus. Brown, oh, look at them. See? They're out of control. Hello? Hello. It's a squirrel. I don't think so. Don't with you. There's gray squirrels, brown squirrels, and black squirrels. And brown squirrels are Jedis. The gray squirrels are, or the gray squirrels, pirates? I think so. And the black squirrels are ninjas. Mm -hmm. This is Drinkin' Lincoln, or Stinkin' Lincoln. Stinkin' Lincoln. And it's condemned. They're gonna tear it down. Pretty sure most, the walls are held up by beer cans. And this is, this is a dry campus, so it kinda, yeah. <laughs> My favorite statue on campus, this guy right here. Do you know who it is? Is it Minnow Simons? I think it might be, but anyway, he's got a backwards hat on. Oh. Kristen and I met here, so this is a lot, very special place to us. Not only is it, like, obviously we went to college and have a lot of fun college memories, but it's where we met each other, so every time we come back here, it just brings up a lot of wonderful, awesome memories. So, this is nice walking around. It's only like 15 minutes away from our house, so I try to come here as much, much as we can. I'm gonna be doing a lot of goal setting on Monday, something that I like to do every, I don't know, every once in a while. I think I just feel like I need to, I'm the type of person that I try to live every day one day at a time, but at the same time, it's important for me to look toward the future and kind of, kind of see, am I still on the right path? Or do I wanna change trajectories or what's next? Your life is whatever you make of it. Nobody else is gonna make your life what you want it to be. If there's something that you wanna do, if there's a milestone you wanna hit, you gotta first pick what that milestone is, what is it that you wanna do, and then you have to visualize how are you gonna get there? What's all the steps you need to take to get there? And just put in the work. Like that's, I feel like that's what, a lot of people that don't reach their dreams or their goals, it's because they didn't put in the work. And, yeah, I, I think that's the case. I think that, that you know, so I'm, sometimes um, when we, like, are, say that we have, like, a goal for the future and we just think, like, oh, you know, that seems, like, so huge. But if we break it down into little, like, little steps, yeah, I, I think it makes it much more manageable. Yeah, that's why every few months I have to sit down and sort of mm -hmm. reflect on, am I hitting the necessary milestones that I need to take the next step? Mm -hmm. So right now I have to determine what am I trying to do? What, where am I trying to go as far as my career? There's gonna be a lot of changes in education. Now that we have a new president and a new administration in office, there might be a lot of changes to education. And so what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my career? Like, so just kind of self-assessing what's going on and trying to figure out what, what I need to do. But I, I do know that my next big goal is a thousand subscribers and starting my book. I've always wanted to be an author. I've always wanted to write a book. And so now I'm trying to get myself, I'm trying to get to that point. And um, you guys are helping me reach that dream, reach that goal. But that's the next step for me, that immediate step. Absolutely. And it's okay to take time to be reflective. I mean, seriously, I mean, some people like just do a little like journal or just like a little, um, a little time of reflection at the end of the day. Like, did I, like, what did I do that was like helpful, what I'd like to improve upon. Um, that's a day by day thing, but you can do an overarching thing as well. Like this weekend, how I'm gonna do it is I'm actually going to be journaling and coloring and that kind of helps me. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for joining us on our day today. Remember guys, take the time to, take the time to really evaluate everything and make sure you're on the right path for you. Find your gift, share it with the world. Remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow.